I could just film these people of what they were doing. Because it's all really inspiring <laughs> and really great. So, so that's what's happening. To me, I see this time. Um, I see this time as a really um, important. period of exploration. Not even before the project even started, I met Adam Peterson. <laughs> and he introduced me to the people who lived in the Moore Park. Yeah, we're together. <laughs> but how is, is the CD scary? <laughs> It is really intimidating. That's it. That's so Our work, where are you guys? Where are we? We're in the Marburg Hotel. Foot of the Marburg. Very tip of it. Right on the border between Ludlow and the Marburg Hotel. Building. The only thing is the Marburg doesn't yet have an elevator. Hmm. It used to have a dumb waiter dumbbell. So the Marburg is uh, an amazing artist space and uh, just getting the opportunity to live here among so many amazing uh, musicians has just been a great experience. Uh, the concerts and the open mics, uh, the feeling you get, it's different than any other um, performance. The real friendship that uh, develops between, between the musicians, between the artists, and uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. This what we're doing is um, the experience of uh, doing good work. You know, driven, driven by the idea that what we're doing is really good work. The way that we approach uh, doing this project um, is maybe like a way to think out of outside of. Things like content to control it to a degree. I mean, I think that it has to happen, and I think that people have to have like um, a, a, a focus on what they're doing, so like things get done. Like a year ago, we we're just living here. You know, it's a really personal thing and so new. We have. Uh, over some time accumulated some gear and this gear, uh, this recording gear specifically, um, largely having to do with Ben's uh, interest in recording and engineering and producing.
The Happy Melodies, the band um, kind of expanded and uh, incorporated Ben and Adam with uh, live shows, they played percussion, and, and then it ended up them um, recording our album. Uh, and that kind of brought in the recording, uh, recording aspect of the Marburg. Personally crafted gifts to give to people. He said, "Then what? I love you." obvious divides and the lines run um, you know the lines can be class they can be race they can be sexuality age age is a big one I feel like we're, we get closer from having um, a variety of genres sharing a stage at different times in the night to a variety of genres on one album and one listening experience to a fusion of genres on a compilation um, down the road. When we talk about like, oh let's get a hip hop act and then let's get a string quartet, like what, what is that implying? Do we mean like let's get black people and then let's get white people? Or do we mean like, you know, all the indie kids, like what, what does that bring to mind? You know, from from the very like uh, root of it, which is which are words. You know, we we take these thoughts and these feelings, and then we focus them into words, um, so that we can communicate with each other. For myself, um, I end up saying a lot of things that I, in hindsight, did not mean. But I think that's really a large part of the process of like figuring out what I do with. Apathetic states are ever present as I'm overheating, 100 degrees and rising, sweating, and I'm salivating in the metal box, watching clocks filling up with smoke, running out of EDT and feeling kind of broke, but I will keep my mind in a cleaner state, though I ain't got a letter with a tax rebate. I won't call myself a poser, but I'm feeling kind of fake. I know the world is mine, but what do I make of it? I'm walking through Target and I feel afraid. A brief movie of blowing my brains out loops in fractional instances. Now that's what I call music. 19 plays on a flat screen as I look at 30 different brands of shampoo. performers and the, the performers feel that so they put all you know put all of themselves into it and this combination of expectation and meeting expectations or surpassing expectations between a um, performer and audience creates this really amazing um, 
know, together we're just spinning the air, and from this come some really amazing performances. This is the flight! Canceled spoons, it's cross-legged in the icebox, yipping like a chip dude, and still we sit on the sofa stuffing our mouths with cotton balls and smoking the beards of our grandfathers. I was born too large inside the egg. And hatching is a tricky proposition. You know, it's not to say like that everything that comes in and is performed in the barber is absolutely breathtaking, because there's a lot of silly, like stupid shit that goes on too. But it's like taken with a big grain of salt. Everybody is appreciative. I don't think there's anything ungenuine here, and that's really valuable. together in a really positive, um, warm, safe space. Um, it's our home and we uh, let people know that. You know, we don't try to make it look professional or we don't try to uh, make it look more like a venue or anything. And we throw shows. So people come and they see all of the, the imperfections of home life. space to play. We give them the space, this show can happen. And it's always a good show. It's always a good show. to be a part of its, if it's of its dough process, because the ingredients are in the bowl. People know that this is cooking. They can smell it from down the streets. I think it's going to be really, really tasty.
beside